All right, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending on where you are in the world. I am Leftosian, and tonight we are playing Amnesia The Dark Descent, the classic Amnesia game at this point. Uh, geez, when did this come out? 2012? 2013? Something like that. Um, and yeah, I have played this once before, way back when it actually came out. And uh, I had an absolute blast with it. I didn't get super far. I think I played for about six or seven hours, and uh, it, it was it, it was so much fun. Uh, I don't remember why I set it down. I just never really got back to it. Uh, oh, hey, very cool, Silverland. Thank you very much for the resub. Four months on a three month streak, badass. Uh, enjoy that new uh, sub badge there. That's a fun one. Um, but yeah, we are just going to start a new game. Now, with any game like this, of course we're playing on hard. Enemies spot you more easily. Tinderbox is an oil hard to come by. Autosave disabled. And saving your game costs tinderboxes. Losing your sanity will kill you. Um, pretty much I'm just a glutton for punishment at this point. <laughs> um, but yes, this is, um... This makes the game tremendously more difficult, so that should be fun. Um, we'll go ahead and start the new game, yes. And I did a sound check, but I wasn't able to do a, a loud sound check, so if the game is on the loud side or on the quiet side, please Don't let me forget. Go. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... At uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is. Yes. I am Daniel. Okay. And believe it or not, our main character has amnesia. Hence the title. Um. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay, nice and blurry. Mementos added to the journal. Good. Ah, mementos. Yes. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Fair enough. Liquid. I've got no tinder boxes at the moment. That's probably good. Hey, bathrobe! I hope you're feeling... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I hope you're feeling better, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, the the character just decided he was woozy. Um, <laughs> this is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, we've got some tinder boxes. That's good. Uh, we're following the trail, so let's check out in here. Now, uh, some interesting mechanics for this game. Because I'm playing on hard mode, tinder boxes are needed to save. Um, also, being in the dark, anywhere in the dark, causes you to lose sanity past the you know intro to the game. Um, which means you slowly die. <laughs> Feeling like frozen garbage. Ugh. Now I know what the Dementor's Kiss feels like. Well, shit, dude. I, uh... I hope you feel better soon. I know... What is it? Past day eight is when people tend to start feeling slightly better. So, you know, just keep an eye on yourself. Be easy on yourself, by all means. And, uh... Footsteps. Temp just now was 100.2. Oof. 
that kicks up another three degrees, you might call your local hospital and see what they have to say about it. Okay, so we're a mad person. Good, good. Also, chandelier. Um, how is the volume for you guys, by the way? Just took some extra strength Tylenol. Good call. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. Um, can I open you? I can. Jumping is a thing. That's nice. Is there a tinderbox in this dark-ass room? Aha! There is. Beautiful. Tinderboxes used to light candles, other light sources in the environment. Current number of tinderboxes shown in the inventory, which is tab. Excellent. It's scary. I don't like it. It would be easy to hydrate if water didn't make you want to puke. Oh, man. I've been there with flu, but I know this is worse than most flus when it comes to how shitty you feel, so I mean... Ugh, I'm sorry, man. That's That sucks. Dude, baby, how you doing? A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Sorry about that. That was probably very, very loud. Um, <laughs> ugh. I turned my phone back on. That was foolish of me. Um, let's see here. Witnessing unsettling events reduces your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Oh, good. Right now, I can only see your shiny head against a lot of black. Uh, I'll see if I can fix that momentarily. It's a very dark game in a lot of places, so I will do my best. Oh. Hey, troglodytes. I don't know why there was troglodytes on the floor, but there were. Yeah, this is a very dark game uh, in general. I don't know if adjusting the gamma would actually fix things on your end. Saving costs four tinderboxes. Four. Four tinderboxes to save. Good God. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see if this actually changes anything. Yeah, the the gamma, the gamma unfortunately does not actually change anything on the uh, the feed itself. So unfortunately, you guys are actually going to get a slightly darker view in general. So you're you're kind of stuck with that, unfortunately. I apologize, but we'll see about using some of these tinder boxes to light our way. Not not a bunch of them, because tinder boxes are required to save. It turns out. <laughs> Oh, you're passing out soon? Fair enough. Um, oh, thank you very much, bathrobe. For some reason, my audio for bits is not coming through at the moment. I need to figure out why. Oh, good, a lantern. Filled with oil can be turned on by pressing F or selecting it in the inventory tab. Excellent. Okay. Everything is fine. Nothing is going to kill us. Everything is going to kill us. I'm lying to you. I am lying directly to your face. Um, this looks like a lighter room. Ah, 
Took some meds to help with the fever. Good call. Um, I know Tylenol is handy. The room is shaking. Um, I don't know if ibu ibuprofen is um, recommended or not. I, I kind of didn't see much one way or the other on that. Grab an object, right mouse to throw it. Hold R to move the mouse and rotate the object. Cool. And haha. -ha. Yes, excellent. Took both. Ah, fair enough. One digests in the kidneys, the other digests in the liver, more or less. So you should be fine. Okay. Onward. Oh, look, a thing! 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Good. Redeem us both. Daniel, descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Okay, so I left myself notes. That's handy. Um, don't know which way to go at this point. Apparently, this is the potion room. Good, good, good. How much oil do I have in this thing, by the way? Oh, do I not get a heads-up display? Oh, well, that's not less handy. Redemption comes through murder. Yes! All the best redemption comes through murder. Oh, more troglodytes. Okay, this is fine. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in steadily raising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim, the rock. To run, hold, left, shift, good. Easy enough. Basic controls. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Is that Clancy Brown? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we go this way. Oh, yeah. The evil snot. It is tough and pliant. It can't be torn by hand or tools. Okay. Now, is there anything on this floor I should be aiming for? Well, I guess we can go see what the hell that noise was. Although there's a bookshelf over here. First bookshelf, then noise. 
You know, I played on normal last time I played years ago, and these chests all have things in them, which makes me a little worried about trying to save later. <laughs> yes, tinderboxes. Good, good. That is exactly what I wanted. And oil. Nice. Scary paintings. Ew. Okay, no going through the front door. Not allowed. Uh, let's see. The game is actively punishing you for going to hard mode. Yes. And I mean, it's it fair enough. Like, if it's if a game is on hard, it should. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Okay, lantern out to keep myself from going mad. Am I a masochist? <laughs> I just enjoy a good challenge, that's all. Now, if that makes me a masochist, then perhaps, but... A uh, pile of awful. Good. Screams and voices. Excellent. Now, I think in normal mode, there's also a heads-up display showing how insane you are. But we don't get that. Okay, whatever's through here is mad. Also, possibly a dragon. Um... <laughs> There's, there's nothing. No goodies. No goodies at all. None. This game scared the shit out of me when I was younger. Yeah, um, it's a, it's a very atmospheric game. I just ran out of oil. Okay, whatever's down there, I don't like it. Okay, so we're in the lab. Let's just, um, we'll just drop this down here. Right. Going nuts fast? I mean, yeah. Okay, so inventory. There we go. This is my health. Apparently I'm healthy. My sanity. My head is pounding and my hands are shaking. So yeah, I'm already going a little nuts. I'm sure it's fine. We've got, we've got this much oil. I don't know if that's a lot. I kind of doubt it. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to sal salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. Wine cellar. Tinderbox. Nice. Okay. We've got to be quick because we're running out of oil. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae, or blood. Uh, the former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the culpite cop, coprate, coprate, binds them well. This time I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis, in hope that it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay. Good. Good, good. 
stuff. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint. Where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Okay. I don't know what the hell that was, but it, it, does, it does this. It does a wibble. And... Okay. I'm guessing those are like memories or something. Uh, aha! Aha ha ha! Aha! Okay. Um, you need to be lit. There we go. Now... Four different chemicals needed to continue. Okay. Let's try to find chemicals. Apparently I can't open that chest. Or that one. Whoa! Bathrobe! Thank you very much for the gift subs! Absolute Ground Zero, Phoenix Rising, the only Dio, Five, Hunsky, and Sweebsley all with gift subs. Thank you very much for that bathrobe. See, now the volume on that worked. I don't know why the, the bits didn't. Or at least it didn't on my end. Okay, we need chemicals. Are these... anything? No, no. No. Okay. Are you... you might be chemicals. Do I do something with you? No. Okay. Eh? Eh, eh. I don't know what you are. You're just... your thing. Okay. How are we doing, by the way? We only have a slight headache right now. Beautiful. Um... Is there nowhere else to go in here? There... there really isn't. Okay. Do I put you over here? No. No, I do not. Alright, well, let's check over here. And see what we can find. Okay, fall damage is definitely a thing. How bad did that hurt? Not terribly. Also, I'm running out of oil. So this is going well. Um, <laughs> Let's go back to the entrance hall and see what we can find. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick to his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Oh, the cellar. Right, 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 right. The chemicals were moved to the wine cellar, so we're, we're making progress. It's locked. Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Good progress. Yes. Progress being made. <laughs> uh, can I do anything with these boards? No. Okay. Sealed. Good. Broken stairs. Excellent. Uh, also sealed. Okay. So how's everybody doing, by the way? As I wander around. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. <laughs> Sleepy but present. Um, I'm, I'm having an interesting night, so... Thankfully, one of my friends is out of the hospital. Um, the other one, not so lucky. Um, 
and actually the one that's out needs to go May, back. 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Ah, yes, the, the long tradition of pillaging places. Very, very good British tradition. Um, that's delightful. Uh, are they physically injured? Well, uh, kind of. It's, it's a very long story. I just, I'm not overly comfortable talking about other people's medical conditions, so. Um, just for now, they, they're, one of them's out and one of them's in, so. That, that's kind of where I'm leaving it. Sorry. Oh. Tinderbox, yes. Okay. Wilhelm's Contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brandenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. I appreciate that, guys. Yeah, one of them is just kind of worried at the moment, so. Hopefully things go well. Um... Light. Light is good. Light is excellent. We'll just, we'll stay here. We'll stand here the rest of the game. Ah, oh, good night, Bathrobe. I hope you feel better soon. I really do. Get some rest. I'm around if you wake up later. What the fuck was that? Something moaned. It was creepy. Uh, ah. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. Hmm. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. You're just gonna end it there, are you? Guys, a master of cliffhangers. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do tend to play for long lengths of time when I'm on. I'm not sorry. Okay, what the hell was that sound? Also keeping an eye out for everything. Old tomes. Okay, weirded myself out. Up 
piano is playing. Like, that's never good. In any game you ever play, a piano randomly being played in the other room, it's never a good thing. Okay. Where else are we going? I'll check out the piano momentarily. I need to find all of the tinder boxes and oil I can find. Because otherwise I can't save. Local history. Locked. We're out of oil. The piano just decided it didn't want to be played anymore. So that's fun. Um, not a fan of large holes everywhere. fuck? You guys can hear that, right? <laughs> like, I'm just not losing my mind already. If I was this guy, I'd break the window and leave. Walk right home. There you go. But remember, he has amnesia. And as far as he knows, he left himself a note telling him to murder an old man who is locked downstairs somehow. Okay, anything? No, 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 nothing useful. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. Well, that's not good. Uh, I, I thought I picked up a thing. <laughs> After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay, now we're reliving what happened to us. Good, was good. Waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Yeah, you feel drawn. I feel cautious. Hello. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and in possible geometry the next thing i can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted the voices of the arabs pulling me to safety and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic okay then well that's nice so we're already going insane Good, good. Okay, nothing worthwhile. What's in here? Floor plans. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Absolute Ground Zero, how you doing? Okay, so we have... We have a map of the East Wing. Bathrobe, thank you for the resub. Good night, I hope you feel better. Okay, so the East Wing doesn't look familiar at all. And the Western Hall also doesn't look familiar at all. Good, good. Progress. <laughs> 
Uh, please tell me there's some oil or something in here. Hey! Beautiful. Somebody's playing the piano that doesn't want to be played again. We'll just, we'll put this in here. Everything is fine. Uh, my new, new job is sending me two monitors. I'm going to have four monitors. <laughs> I only have two. Like, that's, that's damn cool. Are you going to mount them, like, three wide and one above? Or are you going to do something different than that? There's massive spider webs on these stones. Also, I just learned something. Hold on. Uh, must find a new way out of this area. Okay. Okay. Good talk. So, we didn't hear the cave-in, but we did hear the piano being played. Um... Fragile but not breakable by hand. Uh, well, what if I grabbed one of these and hooked? Hey, I'm a genius. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Okay, so apparently the old man I'm going to kill, he's, um... He's also paranoid, which is fair. Uh, look for discolored books. Altstadt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as it can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstadt in the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay at the prominent members of society, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records at the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron the Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life with his family in, at his castle nearby Alstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumors ha are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming to the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, 
Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the west over 300 years ago, lived through the time of the occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of the country. Well, that's delightful. Yeah, you always get two monitors if they're asking. Like, if they ask you if you want one or two, the answer is always two. It's just how it's going to be. Yeah, that one's not super fast. Oil. I did a thing. Yay, a thing. Can I... That's locked. Okay. Okay, before we pick up the key, because apparently I always have wibbles when I pick up keys, I'm going to just check all of the drawers. Aha! Regarding closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The human vessels. Okay. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm, Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave, or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Okay. That's not creepy at all. Okay, key. Oh, Christ! Okay, jump scares happening already. Good, good. That's, that's what I wanted. Oh, that's not... Uh, no, no. I'm just gonna bring a box with me. I'm beat something with it. Okay, we're back over here. This is fine. Let's get the fuck out of here. Damn it. The fuck? Okay, that was creepy. Please tell me you could see that with how dark the game is. <laughs> because that was creepy as shit. Um, so, so, our sanity is good, our health is fine, we've got, well, some oil. There we go, more oil. Uh, Hungry Man, how you doing? gonna lurk and fall asleep soon. Well, hopefully my jump scares uh, don't wake you up too badly. <laughs> How you doing tonight, Hunger Man? Um... Okay, torch out. That's not a good sound. Sincerely not a good sound. Okay, what's in the study? Ah, I've been in the study. Okay, everything's fine. I've been here. And I've been here. Haven't I? Have I been here? The drawers aren't open. I feel like I haven't been here. Good, ready for bed if I wake up blaming you. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um... Okay, apparently the troglodytes don't bother me, so that's nice. The massive spider webs don't bother me. Uh, that's the back to the entrance hall. I think we just get the fuck out of here at this point and go to the wine cellar. The sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Ow. What? Why? What? 
Well, fuck you too, game. <laughs> okay, don't touch the, um, the goo. The goo is bad. Um... I've only got five tinder boxes and it cost me four to save. Ugh. Alright, wine cellar. Use the key on the door. A handful of sand trickled from the crumbling stone ceiling and pushed down on the brim of his hat. He braced himself as the cavern suddenly shifted and settled. Beware, when standing in darkness, the sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment, or with tinder boxes, yeah, right, uh, and search for other sources of light. Yeah, well... Okay, things are... Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left nothing up wine to last us a lifetime! Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> okay. So that's what happened to the King's Men. I love how the game does the sanity and vision distortion. Yeah. If the enemy is near, hide and stay out of sight. Hide in the darkness. Make sure to turn off your lantern. Okay, so the only way that we survive is to hide. That's good. Just gonna move this barrel. There we go. Okay, where the hell did he keep the chemicals? Footsteps bad. That taste. That fragrance. The mascus rose. Okay. Well, I picked up one of them anyway. There's another. Good. Just in case something's mad. Something is very mad. Um, I was really hopeful to find some oil. Oh, blood's not better. Blood is not, in fact, what I was looking for. Damn it, game. <laughs> okay, let's let's waste a tinderbox. I hate to do it, but there's literally nothing else in here. Um, I've got a few cuts and bruises, okay. I've got orpiment, cuprite, and calamine, good. I've got very little oil left. Ugh. Terrible. Um... Oh, oh, what are you, what are you? Yay! A few drops of oil? Hell yeah! Uh, that's not gonna help. Um, press right mouse to strong push. Come on, get out of there. There we go. And now you. There 
Okay. Good. Damn it. I, I was really hoping to have enough to save, but at this point, it's kind of looking like I'm not going to be able to. Okay, can I can I get out? No. You get get out of the way. Get out of the way. And uh, you, I don't know, go over here. Yay! Okay, we're free. We're free. Everything is fine. I've only got a slight headache. It's fine. It's good. I've got no oil. Jen the Hobbit with the raid! Thank you very much! I'm going to pause this real quick. Give you a quick shout out. Oh, you were just chatting. Okay, fair enough. Um, how did the rest of the game go? Hobbit raid, hell yeah. <laughs> we are playing Amnesia the Dark Descent. It's a horror game. <laughs> In case that didn't give it off. Um, and uh, so the, the premise of this game is you have no weapons. You have no ability to fight. You have amnesia. You got a letter from yourself telling you to go to the basement and kill the old man who lives here. Um, and uh, yeah, standing in the dark causes you to go insane. Looking at monsters causes you to go insane. The only way to survive monsters is to hide in the dark and go slowly insane. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a delightful thing. Uh, also, we are playing on hard, which means that, as you can see there, saving costs for tinderboxes. Uh, tinderboxes are damn hard to come by, and they're how you get light sources and prevent yourself from going insane. Um, I've been trying to save enough to, you know, save the game eventually. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, Chris, how you doing? This game gave me so many nightmares. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm so happy to be playing it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the basic gist. We're just starting off. We've only been playing for about an hour. So welcome to the stream, everybody. Uh, oh, oh, okay. These guys were chopped into little tiny bits. How you doing? Um, we are um, we're out of oil, which is bad. Okay, we picked up the last chemical we're looking for. Good. <sighs> Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle Brennenburg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what was supposed what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of my follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly, and I accepted wholeheartedly. 
Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Well, that's delightful. Thank you, Wilhelm. I hope you died horribly. Sounds like you did. Um, I can't be standing in the dark this long. If you started doing just pure story-based games like To the Moon, I'd buy this stuff from Audible. <laughs> uh, well, Chris, if you like that kind of stuff, um, let's see. I'll have to find a link for it uh, in a little bit once I have a, a decent stopping point. But I have my entire last story, uh, my last book recorded online, and it's up on YouTube and on my... Uh, my alternate website so if that's something that interests you I can always send you that link okay we have the chemicals let's get the fuck out of here before we get locked in or eaten the cloth smelled of desert and damp musk the pieces lay scrambled on top too many of them he thought or perhaps too few oh oh it's doing the thing with the with the blood again oh I need to get into the laboratory. Ugh. And there's blood everywhere. How sane am I? I'm pretty sane. I'm mostly sane. I don't have much in the way of tinderboxes, but I'm mostly sane. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a cabin on SS Hortensia, headed for London. Oh, get out of the dark. Get out of the dark. Out of the dark. No, 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 no. No, no. Stop going insane, you daft bastard. There we go. Good. Good. Everything is fine. Um... Matter of fact, here, I will find that link for you real quick. Um, there we go. So that is a link to my most recent book um, and its whole online show. Uh, and it includes a recording. Unfortunately, the mic was not this good for the recording, so I will probably be redoing those at some time. But, um, yeah, that's the show. <laughs> There's actually some fun pictures from the uh, the UK tour on in that as well, so that's fun. Okay, four different chemicals are needed to continue. So, okay... I made something mad. I don't know what I did. Can I... Okay, that goes there. Good. Good. That goes there. Now if I just... Ah. Getting it set up right now. Excellent! I hope you enjoy it, Chris. Need to turn on the burner. Okay. Burner's on. Everything is bad. Are you making fruit punch? I think I'm making the detergent that he talked about. Pot of acid. That's what I got. Why did I get a pot of acid? 
fuck if I know. Subdue YouTube while I'm here. Excellent. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, all of the games that we play end up on there, and then sometimes some of the stuff that I play that's not on here. Uh, okay, so I've got detergent. And the stairs are gone. <laughs> Good. 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 Um, something came through here and destroyed the stairs. So that's nice. Um, how the hell do I get out of here? Can I just... Whoop. No. Um, can I stack things? I have no oil. Uh, are there any torches in here at all? Ah, beautiful. Okay, I am slightly less insane. Use objects to reach hard to reach places. Yes, yes, thank you, game. Okay. Scot free. Everything is fine. I wasted a tinderbox. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. Oh, oh god, get get out of the get out of the sticky stuff. Out of the ow, ow, ow. Everything is fine. 